Good morning, everybody. We're back here at the huddle. Yesterday, we talked about how we're going to look at the Sermon on the Mount, and Jesus begins his Sermon on the Mount, his building on the Mosaic Law, um, and 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 taking it deeper, um, and uh, and maybe even to a certain extent a little more difficult uh, to fulfill. Um, but yet we have the Holy Spirit within us. We have the grace of Jesus Christ. And uh, so we're gonna strive to live out these things that Jesus is teaching us. Yesterday, we took a look at blessed are the poor in spirit. Today, we wanna take a look at the next two uh, Beatitudes. And here's what they say. Again, we're in Matthew chapter five. Uh, so if you want to go in your Bibles to Matthew chapter five, and we're gonna be taking a look at verses four and five uh, today. Verse three was about our attitude towards ourselves. We wanted to be humble, right? And and so now we're going to take a look at our attitude towards our sin. And uh, here's what the Bible says: Matthew chapter five, uh, verses four and five. Jesus says, "Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted." And verse five says, "Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit." The earth. Now, a lot of times you might think, blessed are the more and they will be comforted. You think of grieving, like in a loss or something like that, where, yes, there'll come a day when we go to heaven and, and we'll be comforted because uh, we won't have to face that loss anymore. But that's not what Jesus is talking about. Really, what he's getting at is, is blessed are they that mourn over sin that understand sin's consequences, that understand um, sin's uh, issues and don't try to cover up sin and don't try to to make sin less than it is that sin breaks the heart of God and that causes us to to mourn over our sin this doesn't mean that we can never be forgiven it doesn't mean that God's grace still isn't sufficient but it means that we have a healthy understanding of what sin is and what it does to the heart of God but how will we be comforted we'll be comforted because the Bible says that if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, forgive us our sins and purify us of all our unrighteousness. God, God takes that away. And so we don't have to wait for that comfort. This kind of mourning, the mourning over sin, can have immediate comfort as we repent and we throw and cast those sins and cares to God and he, he cast them in the deepest sea and he remembers them no more. Uh, the Bible says. So you, we need to start today with an attitude of repentance, understanding we sinned and we messed up and that breaks the heart of God. And then to seek the comfort of knowing that we're forgiven. Well, the second thing Jesus says in our attitude towards sin is blessed are the meek. Now, one of the things we have to understand is meekness is not weakness. This isn't a cowering. This isn't curling up into the fetal position and giving up. Um, Jesus and Moses were both meek men, but they were strong men. They were strong leaders. Um, the word meekness in the Greek language in which the New Testament is written in, um, in its original language was Greek. Um, it, it, it means like a, a horse that's, that's bridled. Uh, that horse has power, but it's power under restraint. And so what we want to realize is that this meekness is, is power that's self-controlled, all right? This power that doesn't impose itself in a bully kind of setting or this, this power that doesn't um, act out of insecurity, strike out before others strike you. It's, it's a meekness that is power restrained, meaning that, um, that we show restraint and and when others wrong us all right we don't lash out we don't try to act in revengeful um, and what we try to do is we try to get the upper hand and jesus says blessed are the meek for they'll inherit the earth when we show power under restraint when we show self-control no matter what happens in our workplace no matter what happens in our homes or in our schools that there's a greater possession, a greater reward for us than revenge. And that is the authority over the entire earth. And I don't have time to get into that this morning, but Jesus tells us to them that overcomes, we will, we will hold authority uh, over the earth. 
So once again, Jesus says, blessed are those that mourn, that mourn over sin, will be comforted by God's grace and forgiveness. And blessed are the meek, that those that show power under restraint, because they will uh, uh, eventually possess and have authority over the entire earth. So I hope that you have a great day today. We're going to conclude our huddle uh, with a prayer, and then we'll, we'll break. Father God, thank you for this word, Lord, um, that we need to recognize sin for what it is. Um, but Father, we can also, when we recognize our sin, repent of that sin and know that your mercy and your grace covers it completely. Father, help us, Father, to show meekness, not weakness. We're not going to go out and be doormats, but we're going to show gentleness when others insult us when others persecute us, when others strike out against us. Father, we're going to show that power that can turn uh, the other cheek. Uh, and Father, we know that while revenge is a, is a very temporal reward, Father, you have promised us that, that we'll hold authority over the nations if we continue to live um, under the authority of Christ and, and do things his way. So thank you for this another day to be uh, in your kingdom and to serve you uh, and, and your kingdom, Father, and not build our own empires. Thank you for this, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, that concludes our huddle for today. Let's break the same way we're going to do every day. Ready? One, two, three, ready, break.